Saturday. So I actually just got a package in the mail. So I figured I would share it with you guys. Uh, hopefully the camera isn't too crooked here. But um, yeah, I already opened it because I couldn't wait. <laughs> so I'll show you guys what I got. So first thing is start off. This stuff is from Saks. They sent me a coupon to get $50 off a $200 beauty purchase. So thanks to Marguerite. Miss Keiko Beauty. Um, she always mentions this perfume, so I had to try it. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it, and then I'll figure out what else I want to get. So this one. This is Arizona by Proenza Schuler. Now, this is a limited edition version. This is so the, it's, the scent is the same, but the bottle is different. So I'll link her fragrance video she recently mentioned in below so you can see what the normal bottle looks like. But she always talks about how this smells similar to Lipstick On, which I love, but that unlike Lipstick On, this one lasts all day. So I had to pick it up. Now to me, I can see how it kind of reminds me of Lipstick On, but it doesn't smell exactly the same, which I'm happy about because who needs two fragrances that smell exactly the same, you know? <laughs> but it does smell really, really good and I think I'm gonna like it. And I sprayed it on this arm and it smells good on my skin because you know sometimes something smells good in the bottle and it doesn't really translate on you so i'm hoping this is going to be a winner i think it will be because i really am drawn to it it kind of remind me of the hermes scent right off first smell now i have the hermes i think it's hermes twilly or something i have that upstairs um but i don't have it down here to smell both of them side by side but right off first scent i think it kind of reminds me of that so it's sweet, but kind of like sexy and a little heavier. So I think this is like a good fall winter scent. The other fragrance I picked up is actually because um, like probably about two vlogs ago, I told you guys I went to the mall to buy a gift. Well, I was buying a gift for my mom. I never showed it to y'all because she watches my videos, um, but she's gotten it now. <laughs> So <clears throat> I bought her two Jo Malone fragrances because they don't have Jo Malone where she lives. Um, like none of the local stores there carry it. And I love Jo Malone and I love how, like, I'm sorry, I keep messing my eyebrows, but they look a mess. Like I have on no makeup and my eyebrows look like they need to be done. Anyway, <laughs> I bought her two Jo Malone scents to like combine or wear separately. I bought um, one of the ones I bought her was Mimosa and Cardamom, which is one of my favorites from Jo Malone. And then the other one I bought her is Red Roses, um, which I've never owned, um, but now I do. <laughs> because when I was there smelling it for her, I fell in love with it. And at the time, I did not get it because I'm like, are you sure you're here to buy a gift? And you should not be buying stuff for yourself. So when I got this coupon, I immediately knew that I wanted two fragrances. And I did get the small bottle, so... The small bottle is not as good a deal as the big bottle, but I have so many perfumes that I really don't need to buy any more big bottles. But I really love this. It's very clean scent, a very clean floral scent, and it smells like real roses. Like when you buy roses or you get roses, this is what that smells like. It doesn't smell artificial at all, which is what I really, really like about it. So I cannot wait to use this alone or with other stuff. I have it on my arm right now smells so good um but I feel like it's going to combine really well with some of the other Jo Malone fragrances I have I was thinking about doing a blog post actually <laughs> um just sharing all my Jo Malone scents I think I'm going to do that because I need to get back into my blog like I miss actually like typing and writing and I feel like like I love doing YouTube because 
like I love sharing with y'all and for me like especially if I'm doing vlogs they're actually way quicker than doing like a blog post because if I'm just doing a vlog like this sorry I thought I heard Noah crying but he's actually just talking to this game that he's doing on his iPad but um what was I saying oh vlogging like this is easier for me because I just do it on my phone and I can easily edit it and upload it um now sit down videos are a lot more work but like when I'm doing this type of vlog with you guys, it's easier than actually composing a blog post because I actually need to take real pictures with my real camera and edit them. And I don't know, but I do miss doing it. So I think I'm gonna try to start back getting into that. So all that to say, <laughs> I think I'm gonna do a blog post um, talking about all my Jo Malone fragrances because I've acquired now probably about six of them I think I don't know and then the last item which is the reason that I decided to turn the camera on is I got this lipstick and I lipsticks a lot of times they get end up getting lost in my collection especially if they don't make like a favorites video or something so I wanted to show it to you guys uh this is by Gucci they've gotten back into the makeup game again and <clears throat> this basically took my total to right at two hundred dollars which is what I wanted so <laughs> this was a hundred this was seventy and this was like 35 or something um, or 30. I don't know. It's like between 30 and 40. But um, then I got the $50 off, of course. So, yeah. So, lips, uh, Gucci's gotten back into the makeup game. I don't know that they've released a full line, but they do have quite a few lip products that they released. And the packaging on this is so, so pretty. Look at this. That is gorgeous. So this just looks like really fancy, like almost like vintage style. It actually really reminds me of the Gucci new fragrance they came out with. Like I feel like the styles look very similar. So I have not opened this yet, but I picked it up in the shade Penny Beige. And this is the satin lipstick line. They have like three different lines. So here's what it looks like. So it's a nude. <laughs> And I know y'all are like, why would you get a nude? But I feel like whenever I try a new lipstick brand, I like to try like a nude or a bright. And I was gonna get a red, but I don't know. I kind of like the liquid lipstick reds because they don't transfer. So this is what it looks like. I don't wanna put it on because my lips are in need of rescue right now, but I'll swatch it. There it is. Oh, that's pretty. So it's kind of like my skin tone, a little bit cooler than my skin tone. So I think that's going to work out well, which is what I was hoping. So there's no scent. Yeah, no scent. So I can't wait to actually try this out. I'll probably wear it tomorrow. But anyway, that's it for my short little Saks haul. Um, let me know if you try any of these products. I would love to see how you like them. And I am going to go ahead and get back to um, going through my mail, which is what I was getting ready to do. So I'll see y'all there. Bye. <laughs> oh, only me. Only me. trying to vlog me getting in the car I was like what is that about who am I <laughs> we're just gonna leave that there but hey y'all happy Wednesday I am off today of course I actually um I just took a Pilates class at one of our studios and then I needed to come to UPS and right next to UPS store is uh, a planet smoothie and I never get smoothies but for some reason I was like oh let me try one today and it's actually really good maybe I should get smoothies more often but um, I tried to I don't know what ingredients are in it like I know I saw the ingredients they have on the board but I haven't really looked in a planet smoothie to see if they put other stuff in them um, than what's on the board I guess I could have asked but they do have the calories listed on the board so I picked one of the light ones um, this is called two-piece bikini and if I remember correctly I think it's strawberries bananas vanilla yogurt 
maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I think it's strawberries, bananas, vanilla yogurt, and non-fat milk. So it is really good. I have one of those Ninja blenders at home that I never used, you know? For a while, when I first got it, I used to use it to make smoothies. But because I'm not a big smoothie drinker, I kind of like quickly fell out of that. Like I used to make a lot of the green smoothies. But maybe I need to get back into it and start back eating breakfast because I feel like my weight loss has been at a plateau. Now part of that is my fault because I cheat too much. And then I think part of it is just because I've been trying to lose weight for so long that my body is just like, I'm not tricking it enough, I guess. So, yeah. Where am I going here? Mm, where am I going? I need to go to the grocery store. But I feel like there's something else I need to do before that. And I don't want to go to the grocery store first because I'll have groceries, obviously, that are cold. So... So I know I look crazy, like my hair looks really bad today. <laughs> but that's okay, because um, tomorrow's my birthday and I'm doing my hair tonight. <laughs> I actually just went to the beauty, beauty supply store, and next to the beauty supply store um, that I go to is a Target. Now I'm not in my no normal neighborhood Target, um, but I decided to come in here because I've been on the hunt for these Starbucks creamers and they're like, gold around here or something or around my neighborhood so the neighborhood i'm in now is like more uh in the city like i live in the country uh so it's more like in the city and i guess they're not really into the starbucks creamer so i came in over here to see if they got it and they do so i was so excited way too excited <laughs> about some creamer hopefully it's good uh the guy had to actually get it from the back for me. So I went over there to the creamer section, I didn't see it, but on the app, the, tar the Target app, they said they had it in stock and there happened to be somebody stocking. He just said he hadn't had a chance to put it out yet. They had just got it. So he grabbed me two bottles, it was really nice. But I also found some good like fall decor, which I needed some more of because what I have is kind of like stuff. I got rid of some stuff and then I just have a few other things. I really haven't decorated my house for fall. I don't do like a ton of decorating, but I do like to put out a couple things. Um, I do want to get some more dish towels because I had some fall dish towels that I like, but they have, we've used them throughout the year. <laughs> and I feel like they have like stains on them. Like they're not dirty, obviously, but you know, you need to re-up on your dish towels. So I do, I will be keeping an eye out for some of those, but yeah. Um, anyway, I hope y'all are having a great day. When I get home, I'll show y'all the other stuff I picked up from Target and stuff I got from the beauty supply store because I found some good deals. Some may be a little bit questionable, so I have to tell y'all about that when, when I show y'all. But uh, yeah, I'll check in with y'all and see you. Okay, so I'm home. So I was going to go ahead and show y'all the stuff I picked up. First up is this basket. This was from Target and it's by the Opal House Collection. And I had been kind of keeping my eyes open for a basket similar to this. Um, I want to keep it in here to be able to put my throws and extra pillows in. Uh, so I was happy to see this. It was on clearance for $20.98, so like $10 off. Um, yeah, so... That's that. I'm just gonna go ahead and start pulling stuff out of here. So from Target, 
Uh, this is the creamer. After I show you all this, I got to stop so I can go put it in the fridge. But <laughs> uh, I picked up two of them. The dates on them are like, the earliest one is in November and the next one is like in these, uh, January, no, February. So I figured I might as well just go ahead and buy two. So if I really like it, um, I don't have to hunt them down again. But this is the new uh, Caramel Macchiato Creamer by Starbucks and the White Chocolate Mocha. They also have a pumpkin spice one. And I decided not to get that one because... Well, I wasn't going to buy three at the same time, number one. But number two is with pumpkin spice, sometimes I kind of get tired of it. Like I like it, but I don't want all my coffee to taste like pumpkin spice. And I feel like caramel is pretty like, you know, standard. It can go with any type of coffee, any type of flavored coffee or plain. Uh, white chocolate mocha, I don't know. We're going to have to see. But I used, I love the white chocolate mocha drinks. I never get them because they're too many calories. But I do love the way they taste. And my husband loves them as well. So I figure he would like this one too. So I'll show you the nutrition. But they're not like a healthy creamer. So 40 cal calories per tablespoon. Generally, I put two tablespoons. But with this, I probably will try to stick it just to one. Um, just because I don't want to like my coffee to be too many calories but carbs is six grams and that's all sugar baby <laughs> so yeah i think that's the white chocolate mocha one i think the caramel one should probably be about the same yeah caramel is the same so yeah that's that let me stop so i can put this in the also fridge. from target i got a couple of fall de decorations like i said i did pick up one of these pumpkins uh, and I like the color on this. I like the gold and the gray together. Um, this was $3. And then I also got this small white one or like ivory colored one. And this one was also $3, yeah. And then I also ended up picking up this mug that says Hello Autumn and it was $3. And I thought this was super cute. I like the colors. They had one that said mom, which is probably more year round, but um, I like this one better. So yeah, really cute. And it feels really sturdy and heavy duty. I also picked up this, which is a weekly meal planner. I have something that I kind of use for that now off and on, but I like this because the way it's separated. The other thing is not like a specific meal planner. It just has like days of the week on it. Um, but I like this because it has a breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert. And now that I am at home more, I'm trying to do a better job of cooking and planning my meals so that I don't end up like messing up on my diet. <laughs> And then I got this like letter board um, where, you know, it comes with the letters and all. So yeah, I held off on this trend for a long time, but I like this one. And with it only being $5, I figure I can go ahead and try it out. And if it doesn't work for me, then it doesn't work. But <laughs> I held off on the trend long enough. And the next thing I got was this blanket scarf from Target. And I think this was $7. Yeah, and all this stuff was from like the Target Dollar Spot or Bullseye area, whatever they call it. Uh, but I just really like the colors of this. Um, so yeah, all that stuff was from there. And then I picked up a couple of items for the kids, clothing items for the kids. Because y'all know that's what I do. I'm not even going to tell you, you know, make any excuses for it. That's what I do. So I picked this one up for Noah. This is from Cat and Jack. But I like the astronaut on there. And this one I bought in an extra small from the boys section, which is a four or five. He's kind of like solidly a four T. So this might be too big for him. I'm not really sure. Um, but I find that now if I shop in the toddler area, I can hardly find anything in his size. Um, Cause he's like the, I think four T is the largest and maybe it may go up to five T, but I hardly ever see anything in that size. So I bought this and we'll see if it fits. If it doesn't, then he'll have it for a few months from now. And then for him, I also bought him this shirt. Um, just says, always be kind. And I've seen this shirt before in my normal Target that I go to, but they didn't have it in a size. <laughs> so yeah, I bought him this and I like buying shirts with that kind of stuff on it. I don't know, but I also bought this because I can get one for Chloe too, because I'm that lame mom who likes to dress her kids alike. 
<laughs> but her shit says always be kind too, but it's a girl shirt. So, you know, the sleeves are short and it's gold writing. Hers is actually cuter to me, <laughs> but yeah. So I think they'll look cute together wearing that. And then uh, also for her, I picked up these leggings. The leggings were on sale for, I think, $4. And I thought these were cute. Um, and then these are like capri leggings, which I like because she can wear these now and for a few more months. So I thought those were cute. And I figured these may be able to go with the shirt. Let's see. Eh, maybe not. <laughs> No, I won't wear them together, or she won't wear them together. <laughs> but yeah, that's that. So that's it from Target. I'm going to quickly show y'all my beauty supply stuff. All right, so I bought this drawstring ponytail, and this is by the brand Vivid. And I've never worn this one before, but since I really like my other drawstring ponytail that I bought, I decided to try this one out. Now, this is very different for me because it's more of a straighter hair hair pattern, um, like, you know, the ponytail. So we'll see how this looks on me. Um, it may not look right, but we'll see. But this was like probably like $7 or something. Let me see. Yeah, this was $6.99. And then I bought the other one that I already have. Um, I, I was planning on putting this in my hair probably tonight or tomorrow. Um, but yeah, my other one is still, it still looks good, but I kind of wanted a brand new one because <laughs> it's my birthday. So I kind of wanted a fresh one. And again, this was only $6.99. So $6.99 for a hairstyle that'll last a week is perfecto. And then... Let's see what it this is just a needle and thread, I think. Yeah. Y'all don't need to see a needle and thread. <laughs> okay, so the thing, one of the things I wanted to show y'all was this. OPI Nail Envy Maintenance. Now, the thing that I don't know about this is when I got Nail Envy before, it didn't look like this. And the price makes me wonder if it's like a fake or bootleg or something. But I figured for the price, I could not pass it up. Normally, these run like $20. And I love them. And I ran out of like my normal one. So I had I was thinking I was going to go to Sally's probably today and buy one. But when I saw this in there, I'm like, oh, no, we're going to try this. Because this was only $2.99. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. $2.99 when I normally pay $20. Or $19.99, something like that for this. So let's hope that this is the real deal holy feel. Um, there's no type of expiration date or anything, so I don't know how they could manage to price it like that. But yeah, we'll see. I figured I'll try it. And then I saw this quick soak off for gel nails. I don't know if this will work, but I do like the, that the tips are silicone, so you can still kind of use your fingers more. I have some that are like clip-on plastic that you can put like a cotton ball underneath to help soak off gel nails. Um, but we'll see if I like these better. I think this was like $3 or something. Let's see. No, $4.99 for that. And then the other OPI one that I bought is Samoan Sand. And you can see it's kind of separated, so I'm thinking maybe it might be old. But again, this was $2.99. I already have this, the Nail Envy Samoan Sand, but mine, I've actually like ran out of them at the bottom. And you know, when you're at the bottom, it gets kind of sticky, so I really don't use it anymore. But I really like this because it gives me color while strengthening. And it does chip quickly, but that's okay because when I'm doing this, I don't mind. It, I mean, it literally takes me probably like 10 minutes to do my nails when I do this because I just do two quick coats and then the Sesh V top coat. And like I said, it does chip quickly, but it keeps my nail strong in between like gel manicures or whatever. So, and I like having it in the color because then it's like, you know, I can cover up any imperfections on my nails. Um, I also picked up this acetone because I needed more acetone. I saw this one was scented. So I was like, hey, I might as well try it. 
I think this was $1.99. I saw they had these scrunchies, so I picked these up. I like to use scrunchy type things on my hair um, when I put when I put my hair away at night. I usually use them to stretch my hair. So I think this was like two dollars. So that I picked up these little detail brushes for nails. Again, this was like two dollars, um, but I use a brush like this to clean up my nails when I'm doing my gel manicures. So the one that I have. I keep losing it, so I figured I might as well buy something like this that has multiple ones in it. Um, so now that Noah has his little haircut, sometimes we need to brush his hair, and I wanted to have one of these for my car and for my husband's car. So hopefully this brush is stiff enough. Um, these were like a dollar each, but I thought they were cool because they're super tiny. So I can easily leave this in my car for him and one can go in my husband's car. And normally like Noah's normal brush is like $6, like the ones that I keep at home. So I bought this because I don't know why. <laughs> Y'all know I have a couple wigs. First of all, it says blonde. I didn't even read that. I don't know what that's about. That's probably not gonna work. <laughs> Luckily this was like a dollar. But I have a couple wigs and I thought maybe this would be a good idea to keep them in place because I don't like, you know how people like glue down their wigs and stuff? I, I mean, I don't really know what they call it. Lay day wigs. I don't know. I can't do that. <laughs> so I figure maybe like this will help keep it in place when I do decide to wear it like every now and again. But... All right. We're like almost done here, guys. I bought a lot of stuff from the hair supply store. Okay, I bought this, which is Cuban twist hair, but I just really wanted it not to do twists in my own hair, but because I thought that I could use this every now and again to make like a big bun in my hair. Cause my, I mean, I could put my hair in a bun obviously, but I like the big, like chunky, like full, super long hair buns and I don't have that much hair, so. I figured this may look cute for that. And this was like four or five dollars. So this is just for like to keep around the house in case. And then the main thing I went in there for was this. Um, well, I didn't know what kind of hair I was gonna get. I was thinking I might get twists, crochet twists, but I decided to get faux locks again. And these are different than the ones I've had before. Number one, because it's like a thicker, uh, more kinkier texture. I don't know if y'all can tell through there. I don't wanna open them, but uh, it's a thicker, like kinkier texture. They are bigger and they are way shorter. They're only 12 inches, which I thought would be nice. I was gonna do this on my hair tonight for my birthday. However, I hurt my neck and shoulder the other day and I just don't feel like, even though it only takes like two hours to do, I don't feel like I probably should, you know, press the issue. So I'm probably gonna do this in my hair like within a week or two. And tonight for my birthday, I'm just going to wash my hair and put in one of these ponytails tomorrow for my birthday. It's probably going to be this one, but it may be this one if I'm feeling fancy. So, yeah, that is it. Um, Yeah, I'm getting ready to eat lunch. So I will see y'all later.